Hello traders, welcome to the channel. Today is 6th April. Nifty ends this week at 22,525 and the bank Nifty at 48,493. See, this is hourly chart of Nifty. Uh, during our previous week analysis, we shared both options because uh, during the last week, we had a good rise. At the same time, we saw a big sell on the last hour. So that we had both options, either it cross higher or comes lower. This is what we discussed during the previous week. On 1st April itself, the price crossed its all-time high. I even shared the post in uh, YouTube. See, this is what uh, I shared on April 1st, Nifty 22475. Today's high has been crossed above the previous all-time high. So, the chances of correction is low as wave B and wave 2 is not possible. See, still it can be wave B, but I don't want to complicate much. So, wave B and wave 2 is not possible. I explain the reason. See, if it is wave 1, this can be wave 2 and the wave 2 cannot trade above the starting point of wave 1. So, since the high has been crossed, see this chart. On April 1, previous high was 22,526 and uh, this high was 22,529. See just 3 points and uh, I shared that since the new all time high has been created, the possible of wave 2 is 100% no chance. But still wave B is possible but I don't want to complicate as I said before. So my thought was wave B and wave 2 possibility is very low that means the possibility of correction is very low. The price may move above the all-time highs. So that is the update shared here. So the chance of correction is low and maybe a pullback and the price may cross all-time high. And we saw a pullback and uh, the price crossed all-time high but again sold here. See I explain uh, step by step. On I think on April 3rd, okay, on April 3rd, when 22,370 Nifty, see on April 3rd, here, okay, the first candle of the day, see the time, 9.26, if declines, the initial level of support may come around 22,300 and 22,320, if the price not support here, we may expect 22,260, so I am expecting a correction to come to this level, 22. 300 to 320 on this candle itself on 3rd April on morning day candle itself I am expecting this low but the price uh, came to around 22 350 and moved higher see this is the important learning in Elliott wave when the minimum okay when the minimum retracement is not met we should be Cautious that there is a possibility of a correction is still in process. Okay, this is a very good learning in Elliott wave used in your analysis. On the next day, the price gap up and reached around 22,600 and came down very faster. So, this is April 3rd and on April 4, I posted that price crossed all time high and rejecting. Price can support around 22,450 and can move higher but if the price moves below 22,400 this can be minor expanded flat A, B, C and the price can reach around 22,300 or 22,260 which is same level which I shared one day prior. Okay, 22,300 to 22,260. It's the same support level because the price not had reached that support. When the minimum support itself not reached, we should always think that there is a possibility of the price still in correction. And also I can see only a three way move here, A, B, C. A, B, C is a corrective pattern, right? So A, B and C and the exact low was 22,308 here but actual low is 22,303. So exactly got support at 22,303 and price moved again to 22,583. Right? So now it is consolidating. 
So what we may expect this week, see if the Nifty crosses all time high, we need to check whether the resistance may come between 22,710, maybe 22,700 to 22,780. See, we cannot confirm what pattern it is taking now. It can be an impulse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or an ending diagonal. Okay, if the price uh, makes all time high and moves uh, to our resistance level, then we may analyze the current situation and we may get the precise level. But as of now, I am expecting the price to move higher, crossing all time high and uh, it may reach or face resistance between 22,700 to 22,770. And uh, we may see what the price do here and uh, we need to see the internals also how the price behaves here. So this is the update on Nifty now. So expecting a one more high in Nifty and we may see a correction. In Bank Nifty, this is daily chart. I hope you remember that uh, I said earlier when the price was trading here, 48,000 was the important resistance and uh, from that day, I am saying that the price may come lower and move higher. In previous many videos, I shared this option and as per expectation, the bank nifty moving. So I believe the price will move higher. As I said before, the bank nifty most probably will make uh, all time highs. I said in previous month too. So this is what the expectation and price moving uh, higher even in hourly chart. Uh, it seems like uh, the impulse is not completed and we are still in wave 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, yes. So most probably Nifty will make all time highs and uh, this is what our expectation, right? See, we expected this pattern to happen when the price action here. That's the advantage or beauty of LEI waves. 48,000 lower and crossing higher. Okay, this is the update on uh, Bank Nifty. When Nifty faces resistance, we may check here, but even though it will be a third wave only, minor third only. So, yes, Bank Nifty has much space upside. And in small cap, see the exact low. See, this is a channel. If it is wave 1, wave 2 and wave 3, there is a tendency of moving higher. Okay, the third wave has a tendency of moving above the channel, but uh, while reaching the channel high, we need to be uh, cautious on our positions. So, I am expecting some sort of resistance between 16,430 to 16,650, approximately this zone, some sort of resistance and I believe this is not the end of this impulse. So, the price can move like this. Okay. In this way, we can move and the price may touch the channel high. This is what my expectation now, but this zone may stop this minor 3. Okay, we need to check uh, how the small cap index uh, behaves in this area 22, sorry, 16,432, 16,650. And if you see the exact support in small cap, I shared in previous video also, so uh, we analyzed this support before happening. While during this false sell-off, we identified this as important support and exactly price got support and more higher. But to be frank, I expected one more lower, but eventually it not made and started to move higher. And that view has been uh, eliminated when the price crosses this high, like this, one, two, three, this high. And see the nature, this is most probably the third wave of this impulse. And in mid cap 150 also, it seems like in minor third only and it is ABC. And possible resistance may come around 18670 zone. So we need to check if without a decline, if the price moves here, we need to check whether it gets some resistance or not. Approximately still 200 points there in mid cap 150. In small cap also, we have some space left and I expect Nifty also to move higher and Bank Nifty to cross the all-time highs. Okay, this is the update I want to share with you this week about Nifty and Bank Nifty. 
And uh, if you see the HDFC bank, see on February 20th, okay, when it was trading around 14.52, price reached important support levels. If the count is correct, the price may start moving up. But for confirmation of new impulse, the price needs to cross above 1750. That's a big difference. But I said for new impulse. So this is the chart. So I expect it's a complex correction, WXY. And it can be wave 1, 2 or even AB. So this is what the analysis made on 20th February. If you check the chart and... Uh, it's look like a third wave movement only and uh, volume also increasing. So possibly this is third wave price action. See, even though it is C wave, okay, A, B, C, the price needs to move higher. So Bank Nifty, we are already expecting much more space upside and the higher weighted stock, HTFC Bank also giving the clue that I am in third wave most probably and it is extending. See, if an extending third wave is found, it may move much higher, but there can be a stop, right? But there can be a stop here, maybe around 61.8%, which is around uh, this gap, 1582 to 1596, a round off number of 1600, 1600 levels, there may be a, a pause, okay, an important price action comes here. So, we need to check how the price reacts here in HGFC Bank. See, all suggest that some space is upside. Even Nifty declines, that will be a minor uh, dip only, okay, small pullback and again it will move higher. So, as I said in my many videos that we are in bullish trend. And bullish trend is still intact. That's the view now. So this is the update I want to share with you this weekend. And uh, see, mostly we'll see a up move in the markets in coming week. And after reaching the resistance, we need to see how the price reacts. Okay, even though it declines, I believe this could be a smaller dip only. But anyway, we will discuss after reaching that resistance. So this is the update. And uh, yeah, I want to share this one with the help of Elliott Waves, we can capture the exact support and resistance also. That means precise level of support and resistance. And if you see, uh, this is not at all a good candle. But as an Elliott Wave analyst, we know that the price will get support because of this a unique Elliott Wave pattern of expanded flat. As of now, I mark it as expanded flat and I completed the marking here and we need to see how the price develops here. Maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or some sort of complex. But this pattern and you see after crossing the all-time high, see this candle. So most people, uh, even a few people uh, directly message me that we are going to sell off. but. Since I already expected this support, I was uh, confident that this can be A, B, C, an expanded pattern, unique pattern in Elliott waves. So, as per our analysis, we got the exact support around 22,300. If you want to learn the Elliott wave in much more practical and usable way like this, you can subscribe the channel and I will be uh, posting Elliott wave videos weekly once now. but as I said before, in one or two weeks, I will be posting more videos, maybe two to three in a week. So subscribe the channel for learning the Elliott waves in practical way. Thank you for your support. Happy weekend. We'll meet you in next week. Thank you. Take care.